Hi, we're back with Mark Perry, Director of Product Planning with the Nissan LEAF. Mark, can you talk to us about uh, upgradability of the battery for the Nissan LEAF? A lot of people, even fantastically enthusiastic owners, want to know when the next version is going to be, when we're going to have higher range. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? As you can imagine, our engineers are working in the lab right now to do what we can to always improve its range, its durability, its safety, its cost. All those things are constantly working on. But I, I want to leave, I want to leave the, the Facebook fans out there with a really simple fact. Right now, it's a cost equation. The, as you increase range, right now, you're adding more cells, you're adding more modules, you're adding more costs. So yes, a 300-mile battery is possible, but not at $30,000. A 300-mile battery, you might be seventy dollars or $90,000. That's just where the technology is today. In the future, you know, ten, but it's 10 years in the future, you know, you'll see battery costs come down, but we have to build a lot more cars, a lot more scale. Um, and it's a little bit in the future. Another question that comes up a lot in the community is about solar panels on the roof. Can we fit more solar power area on the roof, generate more efficient energy for the vehicle? Solar power is in that same kind of equation we talked about batteries. I mean, they're, they're efficient, but it takes a lot of them to generate enough power. So it's a, it was a cost and efficiency situation. So we put the solar panel on the, on the spoiler at the back of the leaf on the, on the SL model. That provided a little bit of energy and we used it to trickle charge the 12 volt battery on board. But to really power the car or power the main battery pack, you'd have to have a trailer, really a tractor trailer full of solar panels to make enough power, to make it work. So another question that comes up, Mark, is uh, a lot of comments from the Facebook community on those who are just coming in learning more about the LEAF and thinking that perhaps uh, although the LEAF itself is zero emissions, uh, all we're doing is pushing the, uh, the carbon emissions further up uh, upstream on the energy production. So can you talk to us a little bit about the trade-offs and, and what it really means to be zero emissions uh, from the vehicle standpoint? It's a pretty common question. I mean, our responsibility is was to get the Nissan LEAF to be zero emission, and that's what we did. But if we go to an independent source, it could be Department of Energy, it could be the Electric Power Research Institute, even Google. I think at the last count, there have been 43 different studies on this one question. The common answer is that if you look at the Nissan LEAF versus an internal combustion engine car, total emissions on the LEAF side, which includes the electricity generation, we are... 60% better off than an internal combustion engine car. So that's, you know, if you, again, that's not really even an apples to oranges kind of comparison. You're looking at the leaf and taking a look at its fuel, and you're only looking at a car with its tailpipe. We are 60% better off, even at that kind of unfair comparison. I think if people were to hear that number, they wouldn't think that 60% is, is a huge savings. I hear you on that one. It's, it's amazing. Some people think that an electric vehicle, because they think all of our electricity is coal-fired generation plants, first of all, that's not true. Less than 50% of the electricity is generated by coal. But they automatically think that they're extremely dirty. That's not really true. The, the electricity grid's getting constantly cleaner, and it's going to get cleaner in the future. But on that comparison that I was talking about, it's really about look at that internal combustion engine. They're only looking at that car and that tailpipe. They're not looking at gas stations, they're not looking at refineries, they're not looking at the trucks transporting the fuel back and forth. And if you take the argument even further than that, there are some that would say that we'd have to count the Air Force, the Navy, and the Marines, and all the emissions from our military that are actually protecting our shipping lanes, and that would be all part of that side of the equation. I mean, you can take that argument and go crazy, but if you just do tailpipe emissions from the LEAF, including the power plants, tailpipe emissions from a gas car, we're 60% better off. Thanks, Mark. We'll be back with Mark Perry, Director of Product Planning for the Nissan LEAF, to answer more of your Facebook questions sometime soon. Thanks.